I am so excited about all the talks here at DevOps Enterprise this year. So our first speaker of the conference is Gus Paul, an executive director at Morgan Stanley, one of the largest financial services firms in the world. I can say with some certainty that in my decades of studying high-performing technology organizations, I've never met anyone in banking like Gus. So when I met him, he told me about his 20 years at Morgan Stanley and his early days on the trading floor, where traders and developers worked side by side, where quickly developing capabilities and even microsecond advantages could not only help their firm win, but more importantly, to help their clients. He talked so eloquently about how life changed after the 2007 financial crisis, when Morgan Stanley was one of nearly 30 banks designated as a systemically important financial institution. Those are the organizations that are sometimes called too big, too complex, and too interconnected to fail. So all of those organizations were impacted, often creating an increased focus on controls, which in turn creates more processes, more rules, more approvals, which definitely change the way that developers work. Those stories reminded me of that amazing poem from the Lego movie. The world was once free and full of possibility. Then came order and after it, authority. Everything changed <laughs> until nothing changed at all. So Gus is going to tell the incredible story of how a group of amazing and dedicated technologists worked to liberate over 15,000 software engineers across the firm from an ineffective change management process to liberate their full creativity and problem solving potential. And by doing so, improve the reliability, safety, and security of the control environment far better than what one could do with manual reviews alone. Here's Gus Paul. Thanks, Gene. As you said, I'm from Morgan Stanley. My name is Gus Paul. I'm a product owner in our software delivery assurance squad, which is part of our DevOps enablement platform. I'd like to talk to you today about our journey from what we had as our change management process through to our new automated change management process, and hopefully give you some insights into what life is like in a huge financial institution. For those of you who don't know Morgan Stanley, we've been in business for almost 100 years. We split three ways. Institutional securities is our investment, bank, investment banking franchise, sales and trading, advisory business, and our wealth management and investment management franchises, where we manage assets for our clients. For those of you who know the US, you may have heard of a company called E-Trade. If you haven't heard of E-Trade, they were the original Robin Hood. That's where you go if you want to trade your, your, your securities as an individual customer. Wealth management is for people with lots of money. We split our revenues basically 50-50 between institutional securities on our asset management businesses. We have global scale. We are on every continent. And as you can see, our institutional security business is split fairly evenly between those different regions. So a huge business like this with over 76,000 employees, what does technology look like at that business? Well, we've got over 15,000 people working in technology. We've got 3,500 applications and systems. And those systems are processing up to 10 billion, 10 billion transactions every year. The critical things about Morgan Stanley technology are volume processing and time to market efficiency. We have algorithmic, algorithmic trading algorithm. We have trading algorithms that require sub microsecond response times to give them that little bit of an edge in the market. Because of this, Morgan Stanley adopted technology aggressively in the early nineties and back then there was no cloud. There was not a lot of stuff that you could use. So we started, we hired a bunch of smart engineers and we built a lot of things that are still with us today. Server management, binary artifact distribution on a global basis, our market data plant for providing price feeds to our traders. All of those things are bespoke to Morgan Stanley and have given us a significant competitive edge over the years. It was fun being a developer when I started 20 years ago. You would sit on the trading floor, you'd be with people you'd work with every day, if there was a problem, you roll it out. But that was part of the fun. You enjoyed being able to make enable the business to work faster. When we became a bank holding company in 2008, there was a subtle change at first. But we increasingly ended up with more and more processes and procedures. Some of them were completely understandable. We had to be able to document what we were doing and why. But some of the interpretations of those processes, I was convinced there was a better way of doing it. Why? What benefit was it to the firm? that I had to go on a call every day at 2 p.m. to tell somebody what I was going to do the next day for them to only just say yes every time. It seemed like we could find a better way of doing that. In 2018, our CEO at the time, decided, our CIO at the time decided we needed to get more 
on board with this fancy new cloud thing that everyone else was using. So we started an agile and cloud transformation. I know sometimes those transformations with a capital T get a bad reputation, but I think we had a good balance between teaching people the foundational subjects. There's lots of lifers like me and Morgan Stanley who had no idea what agile and DevOps was. And then once they have those foundational skills, be able to adapt and run their teams the way they think is appropriate for their business area. When we started that, DevOps was seen as a critical enabler. And like most things at Morgan Stanley, we have a big hinterland of people uh, working in tech who are asked to volunteer for these new initiatives. When the volunteer call went out for DevOps, I couldn't wait to get involved because I knew that there was a better way of doing change management. We started off the first year of the transformation just teaching people what DevOps was. It was around the time Accelerate came out and it was really useful to have the Dora metrics to be able to base our conversations on. Because we already had a pipeline that we used to build our applications, we were able to use that as the ground, as, as the starting point for increasing people's automation and making sure that they knew that it wasn't just about speed, it was also about efficiency and reducing risk. That went well for the first uh, year or so. We decided to turn DevOps into a strategic program at Morgan Stanley. Uh, from that point onwards until now, and we continue today, we've had three key focus areas. Accelerating software delivery and deployment. That's the one where we talk about how can we improve automated deployment, automated testing. Morgan Stanley has many different endpoints for doing web services, for doing binary distribution, for doing uh, all kinds of things. Those are all custom Morgan Stanley. We need custom tools to be able to talk to those. 